previously on Hell's Kitchen. Ooh, wow. The chefs awoke to a decorated dining room, <gasps> which was for Chef Ramsay's right hand for years, Chef Andy. Wow. Gorgeous. And her new husband. Congratulations. Yes, finally, we get to meet her. Come up with six stunning dishes now. The chefs were challenged to create dishes for their wedding reception. We're keeping the steak, Diane, and we'll keep that one right there. That's it. Frank muscled his dish in and Manda's dish out of the competition. What am I, chopped liver right now? But he didn't exactly deliver with his steak dish. I think there's too much sauce going on. Looks like a marine boot has stepped all over it. The couple did fall in love with Chad's pappardelle shrimp. Great dish. And Joe's stuffed chicken. We're going to go with Joe's chicken dish. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Giving the blue team a challenge victory. Blue team, congratulations. Thank you, Chad. Blue. Yeah, nice one, blue. blue. But it was far from happily ever after for Frank and Manda. I was kind of like pushed out. You want to speak to me, you say, Frank! 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 I don't know if Frank has a problem with me or females in general. At the wedding reception. Dear Lord, help me. Jared's nerves got the best of him. Pink chicken. This is not happening. They're going to remember my raw chicken for the rest of their lives. Hey, fuck with. While Chad disappointed with. Roll fish! You fucking disgust me. In the red kitchen. Two minutes on these scallops. Danny, for some unknown reason, did not use a nonstick pan for the scallops. Just stuck to the pan like shit to a blanket. And Hassan's chicken disaster. The chicken's raw. I'm getting fucked on chicken right now. Somebody fucking throw me a bone. Kept the bridal party waiting. Andy, where's our food? But despite having broken her ankle the night before, Ariel. Chicken is coming right now to the past chef. Helped her team limp across the finish line. Both teams let Chef Ramsay down, so the blue team nominated Jared and Chad, and the red team nominated Danny and Hassan. Danny was insistent that. I'm better than anyone else on my team, Chef. And Chef Ramsay decided to send home Hassan, who was forced to say goodbye to his dream of becoming head chef at BLT Steak at Bally's in Las Vegas. And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. I get lost. That was fucking intense. Oh. I don't know how I feel about top 10. I don't think the right person went home tonight. Danny's just kind of like, I'm the best chef ever. It's frightening up there, eh? It sucks, yeah, but I was not fucking going home over a house. The red team really needs a win. And in order to work cohesively with a team, Danny, you need to have a little bit more humility and stop trying to act like you're better than everyone else. I feel like our whole team just got alienated. You guys did. If you don't take it with humility, it makes it so much harder to have you come back to the fucking team. When I was dancing, I've never been in as good a shape in my life. Being on a pole, think about it, like pulling yourself up on a pole, you're using all of your core. How long did you do that for? Um, almost two years. Many Mandas ago, I, I I used to be a dancer at a go-go bar. My signature trick was amazing. I got paid so much money every single day just for doing this one trick. It's not something that I am necessarily proud of, but it's not something I'm ashamed of either. I would climb the pole. I'd go up on this plexi, I'd dance, I'd do whatever, and money would just go like this. <laughs> like, give it to me. <laughs> I wasn't privy to living with mommy and daddy. I moved out of my house when I was 15 years old and was on my own. So sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. Amanda, come here. There's something on your butt. That's hot. Oh my gosh, guys, stop. Stop wax it. Wax on, wax off. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how much sleep I'm getting tonight. <laughs> now you gotta start making me blush. I can't watch this. <laughs> no. <laughs> <Guys>. <laughs> Aaron, I love you. <laughs> Amanda is annoying. She's looking for attention. <laughs> She's not going to get it from me. That's for fucking sure. I'm retired. I am retired. <sighs> this way? Hey. 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 hey.
Come on, Blow. Come on, Blow. Oh, I hear a live band. Whoa. Is there a band out there? Oh my god, it's Steve Vai. This guy's a fucking legend. I'm about to freak out. I love rock music. Wow, absolutely incredible. I thought I'd treat you to your very own little concert this morning to get you guys fired up. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a three-time Grammy winner, one of the greatest rock guitarists in the world, Steve Vai. Incredible. Hey, Steve Vai. Steve Vai's played with the best in the world. Meatloaf, White Snake, Diamond Dave. Right on. It's awesome to see him up close and personal. Yeah. Good morning, thank you so much for joining us, Steve. Great to see you as always. Thank you. Nice to be here. Steve Vai is gorgeous. <laughs> now, it is always amazing when you put a very talented, big group of musicians together. But sometimes a singular, talented artist can make magic with just one instrument. Hit me, baby, hit me! Steve, fantastic. Guys, great job. Thank you so much. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Now, listen carefully. Music is just like cooking. You saw how Steve was able to have as much impact by himself as when the band were playing together. Yes, chef. yes chef. The same could be said for a chef who's able to make a great dish, whether he has a dozen ingredients or just a couple. Get where I'm going? Yes, yes chef. chef. Good, because that is what you'll be tested on today. Each team must produce five stunning dishes. One dish with seven ingredients, one with six, one with five, one with four, and one with three ingredients. Are we ready? Yes, Chef. Your 40 minutes starts now. In today's Getting the Most Out of Your Ingredients Challenge, the teams have been given the same five proteins. Guys, what are we doing? The chefs must choose who will use each protein. I want the ahi. I'll take pork chop. And how many ingredients each chef will cook with. Let's get those numbers down. I'm going three. I'm You'll going go three. three. You're going to go three? I'm All right. Go three. I'll, go, I... I'll go four, five, or seven, Frank. I'll go five. While the blue team quickly gets their choices on paper, the red team. Guys, I'm going to do three ingredients. You guys, I have three. I have three. I have three. Is not quite on the same page. I'm comfortable with three. I'm super comfortable with three. I have the three over there. I have, um, I have three. What an asshole, bro. Kristen. This is the first thing I said. I want to cook with three ingredients. Who has three? I have three. Wait, no. Jackie has three now. Who has four? I have four, yeah. Kristen, how many ingredients you got? Five, Chef. Ariel, how many ingredients? Um, I haven't worked it out yet, Chef. You haven't worked it out yet? Oh, my God. Somebody needs to do seven. seven. Fuck I me. Seven. I'll do seven ingredients. I got hanger steak, but seven ingredients is a lot for any dish. So what do you think I should do? I, Jackie, I can't fucking help you now. I have fucking seven ingredients, bro. And a broken foot. Uh, blue team, speed up. Let's go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Any roadblocks, catch them early on so we can fix them, guys. All right, Chad, that goes a long way. Black girl. Yeah, yeah, I'm just crusting it. That's going to be way too much. You got to rinse that off. No offense, Jared, but I feel confident working with tuna. I've worked with black garlic before. It's kind of a no-brainer. Chad, cut off the outsides and sear it again and no, make it I'm a smaller portion. No, I'm not going to do that. No, stay, stay confident here. While Chad ignores Jared's advice, over in the red kitchen, just over 15 minutes to go. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Jackie. What's your protein, Jackie? Lobster, lobster. Seems like she could use all the help she can get. I'm not going to have time to do the corn sauce. Where are you, where are you stuck, so I'm Jackie? I'm going to do like a corn salad. Jackie, you got to get out of that. I can't, I can't, I can't. Jackie, stop panicking. I'm not panicking, chef. <coughs> Pull it together. Oh my God. Do you want my help? I need help plating. I kind of want it to look like you can show everything. I mean, I played horrible, so don't go by what I look. My plating sucks. I'm the worst plater ever. All right, this is what we're going to do. Yeah. Sorry. 
Whatever it looks like in my head, I want to do opposite. So fuck what's in my head. What's in your head? Do your cauliflower yeah. and like something like that. Do your yeah. sauce. Five minutes to go. Five, Five minutes, minutes to go. go. Make it count, guys. Joe, don't break that up too much. Hot, hot, Keep those pieces on. big. I know, I just want to make sure that they're not over or undercooked. Come behind you, Chad, hot. Hey. I'm a little nervous because I haven't done a whole lot of fancy things with lobster, and I really want the lobster to shine. Touch of saffron in here. Yeah. So I've got to jazz it up a little bit and taste it along the way just to make sure it's cooked properly. <coughs> you all right, Joe? Uh, yeah, I've got a piece of the lobster. It went down the wrong pipe. 60 seconds to go. Come Good on. Shot. Let's start plating, guys. Let's go. Amanda, are you going to make it? Uh, barely. Ugh, fuck. Frank, you should be plating. Plating up right now. Uh, last 10. Need to get this on the plate. Fingerlings, sweet potatoes, eggplant, farro. Five, four, Walking. three, it's good, it's good, two, it's good. one, and serve. Let's go. Let's start off with the Battle of the Sea Bass. Come on, Amanda. You got it. Amanda, describe the dish and how many ingredients? I had five ingredients. Pan-seared sea bass with a sweet potato puree, some crispy leeks, some sauteed mushrooms, and I used white wine to deglaze the sea bass. The bass is beautifully cooked. Thank you, chef. Listening, absolutely delicious. Thank you very much, chef. Kristen, how many ingredients, please? Five ingredients, chef. I have a pan-seared sea bass with braised kale, creamy Israeli couscous, roasted carrots on top. I mean, look at that. I beg for bass like that to be cooked on service. Beautiful. This is really hard. There's one dish that has the edge. Congratulations, Amanda. Great job. Thank you, Chef. Uh, really good. Wow. Amanda's doing great in challenges. <sighs> Home run. Like, she killed it. <laughs> Next up, my favorite cut, the hanger steak. Let's go. Right, right. You got it, Ariel. Ariel probably thinks she has nothing to worry about, but let's go. This dish is about to blow you out of the water. I have six ingredients, chef. I did a hanger steak with a Romanesco puree, roasted potatoes, grilled eggplant chip with saute chard. It's not cooked properly. And when you say potatoes, where are the potatoes? They're scattered around the plate, chef. They're scattered around the plate. If I just didn't want to put too much on the plate. <laughs> Seriously? You are kidding me. No, I'm not. Come on. Frank, I expect more. Pathetic. Ariel, describe the dish and how many ingredients, please. I have seven ingredients, chef. So I did a sweet potato and baby eggplant hash, cooked some farro, and then mixed it with Brussels sprouts with a little bit of lemon peel. Ariel, great job. Point to the red team. Thank you, chef. Good job, Ariel. Ariel will always pull it out. That bitch can have no leg and she'll pull it out. It's my girl. Good job, girl. Okay. Next up, the battle of the lobster. Let's go. Come on, Joe. Come on, Joe. Let's go. Joe, how many ingredients? Uh, three, chef. Describe the dish, Joe. It's a warm lobster salad with corn and couscous. It looks like the size of a prawn. Where's the fucking lobster? I can't see the tail. I can't see the claw. I can't see the knuckles. Young man, look at me. Where is it? Uh, I tasted a piece. Unbelievable. So you tasted the piece, the claw, the knuckle? I, I did, chef. Did you taste the tail? I believe so, chef. Joe, it's a cooking challenge, not a fucking eating challenge. Oh, man, he ate it. <laughs> that was pretty bad. I feel sort of ripped off. However, lobster's cooked beautifully, nice flavor. Jackie, how many ingredients? Three. Describe the dish. Um, today I have for you a butter poached lobster tail with a roasted romesco. Mm -hmm. and a roasted corn sauce. Mm. Wow, lobster's cooked beautifully, Jackie. Great job. Point to the red team. Thank you, Chef. Yes, Jackie! Protection, yes. baby! Yes! Yes! Nailed it! Nailed it! Awesome job. Thank you. Uh, young man, next time, have a bigger breakfast, will you, first? Yes, Chef. OK. With the red team now leading by one. The battle of the tuna. Let's go. Chad must score a point over Ashley to keep the blue team in the game. We're going to live or die by this dish. Oh, well, well, well. I feel confident with this black garlic and tuna. It's being a little bit ambitious, but I nailed it. Right, Ashley, how many ingredients do you use? Four, chef. Describe the dish, please. What I have for you is a sesame seed crusted ahi tuna. It has broccoli, leeks, and mushrooms. Uh, Tuna's cooked beautifully. Love the sesame seed crust on the outside because it's not overpowering. Thank you, Chef. Uh, Chad, how many ingredients do you use? Four. Chad, what 
the fuck is that? <sighs> I'm pretty sure somebody took a shit on his plate. Describe your dish, please. Black garlic tuna tataki, quick saute with olive oil, and a black garlic sauce with lemon. The big question for me is why so heavily doused in black garlic? Uh, I think I did a light crust. It's doused in it. It's swimming in it. I told you way too much black garlic. Ashley, you've just won it for the red team. Well done. Thank you, Chef. Really well done. Good job, Ashley. Good job, Ashley. Woo! I kicked ass and took names today. Shake it off, Chef. Uh, red team, congratulations. Thank you, Chef. The more luxurious the ingredient, the little it needs doing to it. Tuna doesn't need seven ingredients. Hanger steak needs it. And you've all done that very well. Uh, red team, you are in for an amazing treat. It is going to be action packed. Oh. And it's going to be a surprise. Get changed. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Cars yeah. are leaving soon. Yeah. Hurry up. Good job. Oh. Kristen, okay, thank I you so much for it. pleading. Oh, my God. We won. Finally, we won. Yeah! Blue team, you guys are in for a difficult, back breaking day, let me tell you. Because today, here in Hell's Kitchen, is delivery day. Shipments will be coming throughout the day. Good thing is, Joe, you've had a big lunch and you're ready to burn that off now. Yes, Chef. You let's go. Thank you, Chef. Yes, Chef. I'm so aggravated that I'm even here. It's like, my dish was one of the best dishes of the day. <laughs> you have to deliver your advice. Yes, Chef. Everything goes to the bar. Hustle. Let's go. Oh, just murder me now. That's a lot of ice. Do you guys want me to start handing it down to you guys? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, start laying them down. With the blue team buried under an avalanche of ice, the red team is greeted by a familiar face at their surprise reward. Hi, ladies. Marina. How are you? Hi, Hi Gimpy. Hey, We're going to play paintball. Yeah. 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 Let's go. Follow me. Holy shit. This is like the coolest thing ever. Here you are. This is awesome. This is going to be sweet. Kristen, Ashley, and Danny, I'm shooting all you bitches in the motherfucking face. On my team, we got Arielle with the sniper. Got it! We got Marino covering me. Come out and play! And I'm just pounding them in their face. Ah, fuck! Okay! Jackie is definitely alpha blood, and Jackie's crazy. <laughs> oh, shit! You shot me in the head. No one should ever give Jackie a gun. Go, 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 go. Sorry, guys. I got it, Ashley. Oh, it was so cute. So cute with the mask and the gloves and the little soft paintballs. Come to Jersey. I'll show you a real fucking paintball gun. While the red team enjoys a field day. Go, 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 go. Let's move. We got enough delivery. Let's go. The dog days are far from over for the blue team. I'm sick of unloading trucks. I'm over it. God. Yeah, it's endless. <laughs> yep. This is just ridiculous. I'm four foot eleven and a hundred pounds soaking wet. How am I gonna do this? This day sucks. Why don't we start piling them up that way? <laughs> All day long, Amanda's up there, been in the truck organizing, while you know the men are carrying the ice and the wine to the kitchen. Well, she's like a perfect example why I fucking can't stand working with women. She's pathetic. Oh, that fucking hurts. <sighs> I know I just did something really, really bad. <sighs> My back is in so much pain that I can't even see straight. Fuck. Where's Amanda? Where the fuck did she go? Shit. The fuck is Amanda? Come on now, honey. I'm fucking fuming right now. Amanda is nowhere to be found. I'm afraid that I may have done something to myself to permanently take me out of this competition, and I don't know what to do right now. Uh, there was you know, supposed to be two people prepping this station over here. Sitting this out is not an option. If I sit out, I'm going home, and I cannot let an injury take me out of this thing. I'm a mom, you know? There's no such thing as a sick day. I carry three children. Yeah. I'm fine. 
After a heart-pounding afternoon, how fun was that paintballing? The red team returns to Hell's Kitchen, and both teams have dinner service in their line of sight. Everybody ready? Can we do a chest bump before service? I will knock everyone out. Okay, can everyone but Danny do a chest bump? No way, you'll pop my fake boobs. Line up, please. Quickly, quickly, quickly. I actually smell positivity. I'm hoping tonight confirms our comeback service. Right, right hand in the air, time for an oath. Repeat after me. I will not suck. I will not suck. Turn round and tell each other. I will not suck. Louder. I will not suck. Got it? Yes, yes chef. chef. You guys can do it. Get on your stations. Let's go. Word, word, word. Mourinho. See, Chef. Open Hell's Kitchen, please. Let's go. So we do. In its 15th year, Hell's Kitchen remains the place to be seen, and excited guests. Wow, it's gorgeous, though. Are always eager to sample the famous Hell's Kitchen menu. I'll start with the capellini. Okay. Chef. Hey, man. Get motivated right now, Amanda. Listen up. Let's go, blue team. Two kale salad, two scallops. Two minutes out. Two minutes out, let's go. Well, I'm excited to be on fish. If there's one thing that I classify myself as is a chef that cooks seafood. 45 seconds out on scallops. You've got scallops and you're off the heat. <laughs> Guys, I need to refire scallops. Refire scallops. Oh, Jesus Christ. I can't cook anymore with you. I might as well do it myself. You might as well put your feet up and have a little cigarette. Come here. I am too scared to even shit a brick. This is not good. What are you doing? I tore a scalp. They're stuck. Yeah. You took the pan off the fucking stove. Yes, chef. The pan gets cold. You put it back on there. They stick like shit to blanket. Get outside, get some fresh air. Yes, and chef. get your fucking head out your ass. Yes, chef. Scallops in the window, chef, right here. With Chad taking over the fish station for Jared, the blue team delivers their first appetizers. That's really delicious. Meanwhile, in the red kitchen. I'm not comfortable with the okay. pizza. So if I can just kind of steer away from that tonight, heard. Danny is leaning on Kristen to take the lead on their appetizers. Danny, I want you to try pizza. I don't want you to be afraid of it. I really want you to no, try pizza. I don't want to be afraid of it. I'm just saying I'm not comfortable with it right now. You know, I just. Don't be scared of it. It's not as hard as it looks. Right. Danny, if you're not comfortable with all stations at this point in the competition, you don't have what it takes to be the head chef of BLT. Four cups table 32, two risotto, two pizza. Yes, chef. Yes. Two risotto, two pizza. How long in risotto? I need a solid six minutes on that risotto. Heard? Let's make that a solid seven minutes on that risotto. Danny has built herself up like she has this arrogance and this confidence level that just is not matched by her production level. Table 30. Two kettle salad, two risotto, two carbonara, two pizza. Yes, yes chef. chef. I'm down to four minutes on that first risotto. Jackie, finish my pizza. Put the first pizza in so I can load the second pizza, please. Putting the first one in. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to drop this carbonara. Danny basically left me to do almost everything. It got a little hairy. Give me three more minutes on that carbonara, heard? That risotto, uh, maybe it was getting a little too much love tonight. Let's push these apps out, guys, and get ready to entrees. I still need a solid four minutes out on this risotto. Four minutes. Risotto. While Kristen is more vocal and determined than ever, over in the blue kitchen, I'm behind. Jared is also determined to make a comeback on the fish station. Hey, hey young man, yes, you chef. with me? You with me, yeah? Absolutely, chef. I know the four cups table 12, two New York strip and two Wellington. Yes, chef. Sure, chef. Right, Jared, yes, chef. Start around there now, because the first all eight entrees. Amanda, let's go. Jared, I can't move fast. What do you mean you can't move fast? I'm saying just let me take my time and don't rush me, and I'll get it right. Okay? Here, you're gonna time that, correct? Sure. Okay. Oh, baby, what do you need? Can I get you anything? You know, let me rub your back. No, shut the fuck up and let's go. I understand you're in a lot of pain. Just keep it to your fucking self. Amanda, what's your time now on two strips? I need six minutes. Okay, I haven't been able okay. to do it. That's fine. Just it's fine. It's fine. Keep us updated. Oh, shit. Hey guys, stay focused, all right? Let's stay in the game. Look, Amanda, I wouldn't even waste my time destroying you if you were my Marine. I'd just fucking send you home. Amanda, Amanda wait, wait, wait. are you still good to go in one minute? Can I walk? You're, you're, you're driving, you're driving. You're driving it. Yeah, walk it. I've got garnish ready to go, walk it. Chef, sauce for tuna, sauce for strips. 
Where are they? Thank you, Chef. Yeah. I... Amanda, after that, you got two chicken no, and we two have Wellington. A young lady. Oh no, I'm going down. Come here, you. Come here, all of you, yeah. That's fucking all of you, and I mean quick! Too fucking slow for me! 90% of your entrees are all meat. She's swamped. Raw, white congealed fat. That's a disgrace. Do me yes, a favor, sir. get a big pair of lungs, because yes, you're refusing, point blank, to delegate. Yes, now, sir. one of you, find your bollocks and go stand next okay. to her. Let's go. I'll, uh, Let's go. You're, you're with her. Strength. Strength. You're this you chicken. Got you, got you, got you already showed that you were weak, Amanda. You really don't deserve my help. You need to fail. I'm yeah. sorry, honey. While the men reluctantly support Amanda, the red team has delivered on appetizers under Kristen's leadership. Following the risotto, yeah? Walking with two scallops. Go, please. And are now moving on to entrees. On order, table 34. Two chicken, two Wellington, two New York strip. Yes, sir. Yes, Let's go. Danny, can you run to the oven with a paring knife and cut open those chicken breasts and make sure they're cooked? Yes. There's a cut. Here, just cut the breast. Flip it over and cut the breast. I'm over. sorry. Flip it over. OK. Don't poke the chicken. It might feel tight. You don't know. We need to cut the chicken breast open where it's thick, Danny, and see if it's cooked. Ashley, I'm three minutes out on these two chickens. All right. When you go to someone's station, you're there to help them. You need to do exactly what they ask you to do. That's it. Can you just watch these two sauces? One is a Wellington sauce, and this is four strip sauces in here. Four strips. Got it. I need a tong. Where's my fucking tong? What do you need? I got it. Just focus on those sauces, please. Right, no this one is getting too hot. Me and Ariel we have a mutual respect between each other. We're very, very strong chefs, so we work very well together. This is all the jus I have. You can't yeah, do Yeah, I know. That. I just was going to reduce it. No problem. I'll take it off. That's what you eat. We can't reduce it like that because that's it for the night. Got it. Danny was really annoying me. I don't know where her head was, but like, this is elementary cooking. My 13-year-old sister oh, knows how to do this, so yeah. Can I get something out of the oven, move anything for you? Okay. Just use me. I'm, 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 I have plenty. Danny, I, use me. Danny, I'm not afraid to use you, babe. Trust me. <laughs> Hurry. Right. While Ariel keeps Danny on standby in the red kitchen, over in the blue kitchen, Walking meat! I've got the two New York strip. Manda has finally delivered on her refired strips. How long for the Arctic char? But Chef Ramsay's call to the fish station has fallen on deaf ears. Two Arctic char. No answer. Jared, we're going on yours, right? Jared? What? No. Chef, Gerard, get your ass over here. Sit down. Standing next to each other, and we refuse to talk. Do me a favor. Both of you, talk now. I don't give a fuck what it's about, but just have a talk. You know, we're just not being it's, vocal it's, enough. It's my fault. I wasn't communicating with you. I thought you are. I thought you knew because you were calling out what I needed. Yeah. And then I needed a reminder myself, and we right, got lost there. That was the breakdown. You were just calling and not listening. Yeah. Jared and Chad are sitting at the chef's table, just jerking each other off. That's cute. What the fuck is going on? All right. So, are we good? Yeah, we're good. We're better than this. We we work Let's well go. together. Let's go. Communicate. I have two char. While Chad and Jared work on their communication skills. Jared, what do you need? This, this, this is for the... Back in the red kitchen. Jackie, babe, how long to the window for the Wellington garnish? Uh, about four minutes. Ariel looks to Jackie to stay vocal about her ticket times. You with me, Jackie? Get your pans on to Wellington, to Tuna, to New York Strip. Let's go. Yes, chef. All right, Jackie, talk to me. How long to the window with the Wellington garnish? Three minutes, Jack? three minutes. You gotta understand, in Hell's Kitchen, you have to yell out your times every 30 seconds. Jackie, I'm two and a half on this tuna. You gotta give me like five. I didn't even start it. Come on. Start, start, start. You know, if I'm farting, I'm telling them I'm farting. Okay? How long for the strip garnish, Jackie? I'm ready to go, babe. I still need like four minutes for that. All right, so we gotta communicate better, babe, because my strips are gonna go over. I'm rushing. Two tuna, two strip, how long? Um, how long for the garnish? Four, four minutes. Four minutes, chef. four minutes, chef. No, stop. Is the steak ready? Yes, chef. Is the tuna cooked? Yes, chef. So what the fuck is going on with the garnish? Look at me. Hey, so you're not ready? No, chef. We should never be waiting for garnish. Yes, yes chef. Ever. Yes, yes chef. Yes, chef. Bounce back, bounce back, back Jackie. Got it, I got it, I got it. While everyone waits on Jackie's garnish, in the blue kitchen. Char, on your left. Garnish here, hop him. Chad and Jared are not only communicating, but delivering entrees. Go, John, please. Finally, we're talking. 
Finally! And the focus now moves back to Manda on meat. You have your two Wellington, and you have your two VIP chicken. Same table. No, they're separate tickets, Manda. Oh, different tickets? Let me know what else you need. Let me know where else you're at. I don't know what else I need. Fuck. It's not, it's not even cooked in there yet, Amanda. There are VIP chickens, Manda. OK, well, I'm not sending out raw chicken. Two chicken VIP? How long? Give me time. Chef, I'm dragging chicken. It's, Sorry? It's raw. I can't send it out yet. It, I still need five or six minutes. Five or six minutes. Hey, come here. Oh, man, 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 man. You're not communicating. You're swamped. You're in a way over your head. I think you should take your apron off and go home. But I don't want to go home. I want to get through this, and I want to do this. I know I can. You're not communicating. You're not using the team. You're swamped. You're in a way over your head, and you just lost any form of organization. Apart from Chad, you've got Frank and Joe standing next to you. Yes, Chef. You've got 10 minutes, yes, in chef. my mind, to use them to the best of your capability. Otherwise, I'm personally going to ask you to leave. Look at me. You've got 10 minutes to pull it back. Yes, Chef. Where's that chicken? I'm on it. I'm on it right now. I got the chicken on the fire. Fuck. I have to fix this. I'm on my own. It's all me. All me and nobody else. Fuck me. I'm not gonna crack under this pressure. Okay, well, as soon as you're ready, I can go. Chicken walking, chicken walking. Chicken over here. Regardless of how long it fucking takes me, I'm going to figure this out. Yo, next pick up, two Wellington, two char, two rigatoni, three minutes. Amanda, are you with that? Yes. Okay, good. When you walk with garnish, I'll slice. I'm not going home. Two Wellington, two Arctic char. Okay, I'm slicing. Yeah, Wellington garnish is walking right now, yeah? Okay, I'm gonna walk right behind you. While Manda fights back. Nine hot. Behind. And tries to prove that she has what it takes to stay in Hell's Kitchen. The red team is focused on finishing strong. Six covers table 30. Entree, two tuna, two chicken, two New York strip. Yes, Chef, heard. We need to win this fucking service. We're not losing anymore. It's not happening. All that matters is getting to the finish line. There's a strip right here ready to go. Bring it up. Yeah, these two are ready. Two strips at a window. Ariel. Yes, Chef. Beautifully cooked New York strip. Thank you, Chef. The kitchen's the first place where like, I felt like I really fit in. I was always an outsider. Never black enough for the black kids, never Jewish enough for the Jewish kids, never white enough for the white kids. Ash, can you carry yes. two sizzles? Yes! The bottom one clean? Give me the bottom one. Bitch, you've been holding out on me? I could be myself in the kitchen. I love the energy of being in the kitchen. Like, I fucking live to cook food and to learn. Come on, guys, stay focused. Woo, focus her! Service, please. Although both teams had their bumps. Walk in with Wally Garnish. They have both pulled together for a respectable service. Go, please. Walking with sauce to the window, chef. And are sending their final orders out to the dining room. Oh, yeah. You should have ordered this. Perfect. We're good. That's it. That's it? Yeah. Clean up? Yeah, yeah. All right, all right. Tonight, one team communicated so well and one team refused to talk. The winning team tonight is the red team. Great job. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Blue team, you made the service harder, much harder. You all have the difficult task of deciding the two individuals that you could do without to make your team stronger. All of you, fuck off. Yes, Chef. They do this one. I hate losing, but we just say, hey, look, you're going up and you're going up. There's no grudges or no bickering, no fighting. It's nothing personal, but this is business. All right, who wants to start? So the biggest issue tonight was communication, and he had me and Jared sit down. But I'm not going to think that for one second that Jared and I are the only ones that we're not communicating. I'm going to agree with that. Nominations first, explanations after? Yeah. Sure. Amanda, you're two. And Chad, Jared. Come on. Frank, Amanda, Jared. Well, fuck. I didn't have one fish come back, not one. Frank, you in particular, close your ears. You put your head down, and that pisses me the fuck off. Yeah, and one thing like that just sinks the whole ship. Jared, he's a sorry human being. For him to fuck up and then blame it on somebody else, it's very sad. And then this one isn't shouting loud enough. I understand she's in pain today, but at some point you either need to tap out or fucking speak up. I can't fucking move. Here's my problem. 
If something's fucking wrong, tell somebody. Why are you slamming shit? Because I've been quiet for a long time, but I'm fucking pissed. My fucking back hurts so bad, I'm ready to fucking cry. It's tough. I mean, I don't want to be a jerk because I know that she's not feeling well, but during dinner service, Amanda is just a deer in headlights. We know your back hurts, but suck it up. I'd like to lay down too. I'd like to fucking whine and complain, but there's no room for weakness on the boys' team. <sighs> Amanda, you know what? I, 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 I'm not gonna play the pity game and no, feel bad that. that she went down, you know? That's the first time I've worked Meat Station at all. Like, I have not worked Meat Station once yet. Like, oh, I can't fucking win right now. I didn't give up. I hurt my back doing bitch work because my team didn't come through during the fucking challenge. I'm trying really hard to be fucking strong right now. <laughs> we know what the issue is, so what are we gonna do? Joe? I don't really know. I have no idea who's going up. It doesn't matter, as long as it's not me. Jared, I'm not the weakest person on this fucking team at all. <laughs> Ow. Our team is not gonna be fucking stronger without me. They're gonna be sorry if they send me home. I don't know. Who would we be stronger without? Man. But who else? That's what I'm struggling with. Uh, red team, well done. Um, finally, if the blue team just talked and helped each other, you would have had as good a service as the red team. Frank, blue team's first nominee, and why? Chef, our first nominee is uh, Amanda. We picked her today because of folding under pressure. The uh, meat station was a complete disaster tonight, Chef. Second nominee, and why? Chef, our second nominee is Jared. I picked Jared today because of the ongoing miscommunication, and it was brought to his attention more than once, and it did not improve. OK, Amanda, Jared, step forward, please. Amanda. Yes, Chef. A rough night for you tonight. Yes, Chef. Tonight was not my best night, but I cook my ass off and I cook with my heart, my soul. This is everything to me. I came into this competition to give myself a better life as well as my kids. And all I think about every single day is giving my kids the, the life that they deserve. Jared, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? Chef, I deserve to be here because I'm a strong leader. I'm one of the only people on the team that tries to communicate during prep time, during challenges, during service. I'm here to just be the best chef I can. This is tough. My decision is... Chad. Step forward. Give me your jacket, Chad. Yes, sir. Young man, you have lost your confidence. And Chad, I'm hoping that you can find it in the red team. Get over there. Yes, sir. Danny, give Chad your seat, because you are going to the blue team. Yes, chef. Chad, I'm giving you your very last chance in a new environment because you did start this competition strong, but your time, young man, is running out quickly. Get it together. Yes, Chef. Gerard, Manda, back in line. Now get out of here. I know this is my last chance here, and being that the whole red team is on the up and up, I can't wait to get in there and be part of that. I know I can be a strong leader and a good cook. My back might slow me down, but it's not going to stop me. Wow, I'm in shock. It's a new start, and uh, I don't know. I think I look pretty good in blue. Chad desperately needs to regain his confidence, and Danny is desperate to be a leader. 
Hopefully, their new teams will bring out the best of both of them. Next up, Hell's Kitchen's Gone Country. How do you, Chef? Yeah! You are kidding me. And when one chef admits to being a greenhorn. I've only been cooking for three months. Wait a minute, what? Three months? You're kidding me, bro. Will the red team gang up? Jackie, watching meatballs. Jackie, what are you doing? Jackie, you have a second. Can you come wash this tuna for me? And put her out to pasture. Jackie, I'm stuck. Get out. Get ready for a showdown. I'm so pissed I can't even tell you what I want to do. I'll get arrested for even saying it. Because it's going to be a root. Yeah. Two. I'm stuck. Boot scoop. <laughs> Oh my god, we're gonna die! Hell's Kitchen.